Thank you, everyone, for staying with us on the program. So tonight, we're looking at the issues of the cost of nomination firms across most of the political parties. So we showed you the cost of some of those firms in three major parties, the PDP, the APC, and the SGP. The lowest you will find for the presidential is 12... Uh, oh, well, no, that SGP has uh, perhaps the lowest. That is 11 million. The APC has the highest with a 45 million naira for int expression of interest and nomination. So in all of this, there is a group that is clamoring for a reduction in the cost. And that's the, the not too young to run there. They've been able to fight their way through getting younger people uh, and uh, the fear has been doused in the new law signed by the president. But can they get their way into the political parties such that people without much money, can purchase this firm and run for office. So I have with me on the program tonight, the panel seems to be a very robust one, a presidential aspirant in the APC, Mr. Adamu Garba, and also the co-convener -co of the Not Too Young to Run uh, campaign, Mr. Samson Itodo, and an APC chieftain, a former lawmaker, Honorable Clatus Urban. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for your time. Let me allow you quickly to land on the thoughts that you were on, Mr. Itodo. As it stands right now, it does look like some of these costs has been cut. People already uh, purchased in this form. Is there anything else to do? Now, just listen to the story um, shared by Adamu and his experience and how much he's been able to raise. If you're a pro-people party, what one would expect is you make it easier for them. You make it easier for people. That's why you are, if you're a truly people's party, you don't make the processes very, very difficult. What the APC has done, if you look at the structure of the cost of nomination form, they've simply said that only the state houses of assemblies is where young people should actually be because the price, the cost of the form was pegged at 850, but for House of Reyes, about 3.5. I know that the party um, has demonstrated that it's responsive by reducing the cost, but even this current cost that it has stipulated, it is too high. And I want to use this opportunity on behalf of the Not Too Young to Run movement and young people in this country to call on the APC to further reduce the cost of nomination forms to give young people and women and persons with disability the opportunity um, to, to, to um, actually actualize their political um, ambition. The APC has started on a good note talking about direct party primaries, which is one of the demands that the movement also made. But she can take it further to reduce the cost because what we do is we are setting a dangerous precedent. I quaked when I saw that the forms for a presidential um, aspirant is about 40 something million. For God's sake, we're a country where over there's over 18.5% um, unemployment rate. We're the poverty capital of the world. Um, just look at the state of, of, of things in this country. And so we expect that the APC being the governing party should be responsive to the aspirations of young people because you're going to record a max exodus of members of your party if you don't lower the cost of nomination All forms. Right. The no. argument has always been that the, the cost of forms um, is a revenue generating mechanism for political parties. And I say this, if you lower the cost, you have more members and you have more subscribers for your forms and you conduct your direct party primaries or even in direct party primaries, you still generate revenue, but okay. not peg this high let, cost. Let me bring and in uh, Mr. Garba, indirectly Mr. exclude young people and women um, to run for office. All right. By convention, Mr. Garba, it's usually uh, that incumbent office holders in political parties are always given the right of first review, sir, uh, to run for office. You have an incumbent president in your party, Mr. Garba. Uh, are you thinking for a moment that you might be stepping down or perhaps uh, uh, you might be coalescing with his group uh, that is the incumbent president because he's gotten his form today? Or how else do you think you want to run in this race? You don't even have the money just yet. Yes, um, on the money, we are working to raise it. On the issue of stepping down, we are not stepping down. We are going to go to the polls and then let the uh, party members uh, uh, step us down on their own. But we, we are not uh, going to step down. We are going to go to the conclusion simply because I believe personally I have a more robust program and manifestos and proposals to the country far much more than what the president is bringing on the table at the moment. I believe that 
the system of statecraft model that is being uh, run in this country, in fact, from 1970s till now, has just succeeded in creating several militias every decade. You can check the history. In 1970s, we have 60s, we have Biafran, 70s, we have Bandits, 80s, we have Medicines, 90s, we have, uh, uh, what, what do we call it, Niger Delta militants, and 2000s, we have Boko Haram, and now we are talking farmers and herdsmen, and we are heading to another decade. So the statecraft model is not working. The country now is on a voyage to China to sell our labor in exchange for our natural resources. This is a very serious problem. And we have a complete proposal that will position Nigeria back to productivity, that will make sure that each and every Nigerian is living above $10 a day, that will increase the life of expectancy of Nigerians from the current 42 to 50 years to about 65 years, and so many other things. Our target is to give jobs and create opportunity for so many people. And that is why... I always say that I am the holy grail of the APC. If right. I have opportunity to get the ticket of the party as a flag bearer, it is a surest way of APC coming back. To okay, uh, Mr. Garba, let's, let's now bring in uh, the APC chief and Honorable Cletus Auburn. Honorable Auburn, if you, anyone running for this office, for example, the presidential office, is to save up money and he wants to save up every month, he will have to save about... 3.750,000, million naira every month to be able to get 45 million naira at the end of the year to get that firm. Uh, is it, I guess we are not, not talking about not too young to run. We should be talking about not too poor to run, isn't it? Precisely what I want to bring out to Nigerians. You cannot be running an election as if you are running an empire. You are not going to do inheritance of a chieftaincy title in your community. Watch Obama and watch people like us. We run elections on the basis of the support base that we have. Nobody goes to run elections from his pocket. Of 100 persons that run elections from their pocket, only five get to run. And when they run, only two get to win. The reason is because you are running on popular vote. So if you want to run elections and you need money to run elections, you will need your constituents and those to vote for you to contribute. Obama ran elections and had excess of money because even school children had to contribute to his campaigns to the point where that even Clinton, who ran as his opponent, had to get most of his bailout and most of his debt paid from the excess of what Obama got as contributions from his voters and from his supporters. I expect that Nigeria, if we are going to do popular democracy will now learn that you don't have to save money to do that. You have to bring it from your supporters. What is your support base? That is the essence of Comrade Oshemole's idea of direct primaries. That those who will vote for you in elections, you vote for you first from your party platform. You also will agree with me that it is never happening anywhere in the world that you will have to run an election from your post. All How right. many Nigerians and the kind of amount we are talking about? Okay. Uh, we're definitely out of time now. Uh, it's unfortunate. I wish that we could drive more point because there are a lot of issues to discuss. Maybe we'll still uh, tackle this issue at some point on the program. But that's how far we can go. My partner tonight, it's, I must sincerely thank you for coming on the show. Honorable Clatus Auburn, it does look like we should listen to you over and over and over again about this issue. And also, same for you, Mr. Adamu Garba. Wish you the best in the coming days. Mr. Samson Toto, thank you for coming on the program today. Maybe you should take on the not too poor to run as your next line of campaign. But that's how far we can go. Many thanks, everyone, for being part of the program. I'm Shinwa Kimbalo. Bye-bye.